Greetings from the New York Times Travel Show at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center. We are here with the one and only world famous Randolph Wicker. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Now we have seen you in the New York Times talking about cloning and I'm going to cut to the chase. We're just going to talk about travel today and one of the things I want to speak with you about is you made a trip to Puerto Rico where you celebrated Silvia Rivera. So can you fill in us that story of why she would be an LGBT story and why you chose Puerto Rico? Well, I love Puerto Rico. I've been there 20 times. But amazingly, I thought I knew that one like my back of my hand. We had like a day in, in San Juan. There was a Puerto Rican museum that didn't exist before about Puerto Rican culture. There was a, a museum about Puerto Rican art. And the people of Puerto Rico are, are so happy and, and they're such wonderful people. But this hurricane, you know, I asked at Puerto Rican booth and they said there wasn't any shortage of rooms. I was afraid that might be a problem. And I've been to the, I don't know, the tropical forest was so beautiful and it was destroyed. There was a, a crescent lay in Papagara, which was incredible. And I remember and that trip. Case. When you came back, you chose to attend New York City's Puerto Rican Day Parade. You were so in love with Puerto Rico. But at that experience, you chose to celebrate your friend, your roommate, your colleague, Sylvia Rivera. Right. Could you tell me about that? Well, I always celebrate Sylvia because she was one of my greatest friends in life. But I like Puerto Rico so much. In the late 60s, I took every one of my employees that was working for me in my button shop. I, I was giving tours of Puerto Rico because it was so fabulous. The greatest beaches are on the other side of the island. It's great for surfing and everything. And there's... Mayaguez was known as the gay capital because there was a guest house there that specialized in gay people. It, it's a very, uh, it's a very macho Latino society, but basically speaking, it's wonderful. And one quick trip about tip about seeing anywhere you go, I would you can get on a bus at the main station. You stay on any bus at a main bus station, it will eventually return there. That's the way I saw Venezuela years ago. That's the way I saw Miami when I only had five hours. And so that's a trick. That's a, also a trick to see Puerto Rico possibly. Now, unfortunately, Sylvia Rivera is no longer with us. But you brought her to life by bringing photographs with you, and you held them and talked about Sylvia in Puerto Rico by bringing pic pictures of her with you. Tell me about that experience, and what was that like celebrating your friend that's no longer with us? Well, she was Hispanic Activist of the Year. I stood in for her at the Latino, uh, the in the big building they had a Latino history project or something and they wanted Sylvia Rivera and I think you, someone enabled me to take her place because talk about her as not a saint you know they make yeah, saints yeah. out of people she was someone who had been a drug addict and a prostitute and slowly she had sobered up she had gotten she always was filled with charisma and it was such an honor to be able to represent her with the Latino people in the F cultural festival Inher uh, the uh, I forgot what the group is the big the biggest group in in Washington which at one point had been hostile to transgender people now let's talk about travels outside of Puerto Rico and that was a fun experience to do that with you um, where have been some of your favorite travel destinations and where is the one you still want to attend Randolph Wicker I, th I think that my favorite destination was England because everybody spoke English and uh, it was back in the 60s when things were dirt cheap. I bought a whole suit for like $50 uh, and uh, the English people are a little bit stuffy. In those days the trains quit running at 11 but it was also very reasonable when you stayed in a room you put a, a dollar in or a pound in to run the heater and then you turned it off when you left. It, it was. It was so unspoiled, and I was really there when the beat of the day of the Beatles were the big thing. Do you recall the year that you were in England? I believe it was. Sick. It might. It. It might. Yes, it because I filmed. I went there. I filmed the 19th. I filmed the first gay liberation demonstration ever. They held it in the park. It was 100 degrees that day, the hottest day in history. And I filmed, they went there, they played London Bridge is Falling Down, and there would be a boy on one side, a girl on the other. When the bridge caught someone, they kissed the same sex partner. And this crowd gathered, and the woman, this guy who didn't you know what he was saying, had a long, real redneck, shook his finger, and, you didn't, and then a police would come up. Now you know why he's world renowned, but let's talk about the place you haven't been yet. What's on your to visit list, Randolph Wicker? Ireland. Ireland? You haven't been to Ireland? Because right next, I, right over there by England? Because I'm mainly Irish. 
And I thought, well, I thought you were in the Neanderthal. I am. I I am. I have more Neanderthal genes than eighty nine percent of the people. But Ireland, Brendan Slay, I hired him oh. when he was fired for dancing with Mayor Dinkins, the Irish jig, and he he always raves about me as a, me and Craig Rodwell was the only two people that helped him out. I gave him a job paying like eight or ten dollars an hour. He'd been making twenty five dollars an hour in a high Catholic high school for girls. And now, the last two years ago, for the first time, the mayor, uh, uh, Bill de Blasio, who's a giant, like he stands up, you couldn't even see his wife by his Of side, New York City. Walks with us in the regular, we were finally incorporated into the regular parade, and Brendan Fay got the Lavender and Green Parade in Queens going, and Hillary Clinton marched with them when she was running for a senator. And I marched with Brendan Fay and Lady Clover Honey in the New York St. Patrick's Day Parade. But I would love to travel with you to Ireland. We're checking in with Randolph Wicker at the New York Times Travel Show.